He famously double-crossed James Bond and warned us winter is coming. But now, Sean Bean is back on our screens as he joins the court of King Henry VIII. Yep, yeah, he's teaming up with co-star Arthur Hughes to try and solve a Tudor mystery <laughs> in the new Disney Plus series, Shard Lake. Let's take a look. The guilty man must be identified and evidence listed. I am not above the laws of England, Matthew. Well, no, my lord, as no man should be. You will not fail me, neither of you. The house must fall. Robin Singleton was killed by someone here. Someone within St. Donato. We are close. Believe me. Simon, wait! Why won't you accept that we must find our own truth? An axe will find your neck! I will find you. I will discover the truth. And this house will close. Well, hurrah and array, Master Shardling. I mean, if that doesn't get you in, are you even still alive, essentially? <laughs> right. I mean, it, that, to call that a trailer or what, Shard Lake is available to stream on Disney Plus from the 1st of May, and Sean Bean joins us now alongside co-star Arthur Hughes. Good morning, gents. Morning. Morning. I mean, it's so luscious and expensive and epic, and it's based on the C.J. Sansom novels, right? Which I think, Sean, you <clears> read 20 years ago or something like that? Yeah, I, I did about eight, 20 years ago, something like that. We were stuck in Norway at the time. Well, yeah. we were <laughs> filming in Norway, but uh, <laughs> th there was that Nova virus. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, the yeah, planes yeah. couldn't fly from Iceland and stuff. So yes. I, I started reading. Mm. I read about three of his books. I think he'd only wrote three at the time, but mm. he wrote a lot more now. Yeah, I think yeah. there's seven. And then they, they asked me about it, and I didn't realise at first. And they're like, oh, <laughs> these are those books, are it? And then I said, yeah, you know, I'd love to play Thomas Cromwell. Uh, yeah. So so I'd, uh, I'd had an experience before, and it's Stevie Lee who, uh, who, who'd who been uh, wanting to uh, produce them and get them on screen for, for years and years. She uh, she finally did yeah. it, didn't she? And yeah. Now we've got it, you know. It so. just looks so epic and expensive, and you're just so invested it's right from the word It's this wonderful guys. thing, Arthur, at the moment, that, that, that any sort of whodunit crime is absolutely everywhere. Yeah. Love, and it's all usually more much more contemporary setting. So to have it set in Tudor, England, it's a really intriguing sort of element to the whole process, isn't it? Yeah, and I think what's what's great is all the where it's set in this monastery. Yeah, it's full of monks who are all wearing the same thing, and so when they're who done it, when everyone looks the same, <laughs> yes. yes, it's quite it's really spooky. I think it's quite like there's quite a horror element to <laughs> yes. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you like don't a, have the science that we now have yeah. now as well. It's just I think it's a lot of um, you know uh, lie detecting and. Uh, um, and not so much for forensic, but these detective skills of trying to find out when someone's lying or not. And yeah. It's set in this backdrop of, you know, the Reformation with Henry VIII breaking from Rome and this big change in the country and lots of people on different sides split. So mm. everyone's uh, loyalty is somewhere different and, you know, Shard Lake has to yeah. Yeah. navigate that. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Cromwell is kind of like smart and ruthless at the same time. Mm. But then there's your character, Shard Lake, which is, he, he's such an interesting character because there's so many elements to him where he's, he, he, he's like a hero, but he can be tough, but then he has this sensitivity that comes with him too. Yeah. And he's super barrister, scoliosis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he's, yeah, he's, he's massively complex. There's, um, there's a, like a lot of contrast in him. That yeah. I see, like like you say, like this. He's quite stubborn, but he's he's got a gentleness. He's, I think he's he's completely wedded to the truth. He always wants to find the truth and everything. There's real honesty, um, but you know he's also quite a a lonely man. He's a disabled man in you know 16th century England and what that means. But he's also very successful. He lives a nice life as a barrister. So there's it's all this kind of. Um, complexity within him which was just so lovely to play I think it makes him he makes him that in the books he's just you love him yeah you love him even for all his um faults which he does have quite but a he's good. very principled I think at a time Sean where lots of those characters have enough power to make up the rules themselves or they'll pretend to be very religious in some instance but then they'll be yeah. very ruthless and torturous <clears throat> feels like Shard Lake's not like that he's got that sort of that principled nature that he wants to get to the truth and he's not he's yes. not going to be bowed by yes. somebody's influence well that's why I, I employ him because uh, I know he's very very shrewd he's like a dog with a bone you know he's like uh, 
Arthur says he, he, he'll he get to the truth no matter what. And I see that quality in him, you know, he's smart, he's, uh, you know, he's streetwise and, uh, and, and I trust him and I know he can do the job for me and find out who's the... Always been messing about in these monasteries and stuff. Naughty monks. <laughs> <laughs> I love how who's been messing. Yeah, yeah. Who's, been, who's, who's been murdering. Been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Arthur, this character really resonated with you as well, didn't it? The, the, the complexity of the character. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, to see uh, a disabled leading character on our screens, it, yeah. it doesn't happen too often. No. And, but Shard Lake's disability is the, um, least interesting thing about him. Yeah. I think it makes him, uh, it, it provides um, this complexity in the world he has to navigate and the people he has to, mm. um, to, to work with and kind of work against with, you know, how they might judge him. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I found that, I mean, you know, the, there's certain things about Shard Lake that I... That resonate with you. Res exactly, yeah. And, um, and, and I think that's always the thing with a character, of trying to find the things you have in common, to find that realness with them. Yeah. What is it that makes them tick in some ways that I can um, find in experience. common as well? Yeah, exactly. It's your um, first big action role as well, uh, which means there's stunts involved in, in this. <laughs> uh, did everything go to plan? Um, yeah, for the most part. There was, there was one uh, kind of hairy day on go the on. horses. Well, my horse, um, Cariel, his name was, it was his first um, acting gig, really. <laughs> He'd been on a set before. <laughs> But he was a bit hot and a bit tempered. Fiery. And, yeah, there was this one day where he was, you know, he was being a particularly, uh, you know... <laughs> feisty. Feisty. And we were filming on this beach full of these boulders and the horses didn't like traversing them. But, you know, the director's going, can we go a bit faster? Can we, you know, can we get someone trying and trying? <laughs> Cariel just went, you know what? And he bolted. Uh-huh. And... Like, were you let, clinging on? Uh, me clinging on. Like, <laughs> wind in my... Well, I don't know, it didn't happen there, but... Um, <laughs> But holding on for dear life, he, yeah. just, he like leapt over this huge yeah. bush. Yeah. I was like, oh, we're oh. barreling towards the crew. And the You're the main character of the yeah. stars disappearing I, yeah. over the hill. Oh, God, it, yeah. You they, just they, have to they, hang they on. They managed to stop just before we kind of yeah. got to the, the cameras, really. Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, let's have a break from those. Yeah, well, I said to the director just after, I was like, did, I did we get that? Me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and get it Sean, tell us. I mean, we know that Cromwell was beheaded on orders of the king. We know how this ends. <laughs> but Hold on. are yeah. you going to stay alive for the entire series or are you going to die? Because that's what everybody well, worries obviously about. Obviously not. <laughs> 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 uh, you tend to do a lot of parts, Sean, that don't make yeah. it to the end of the series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to balance that up a bit by staying alive a bit more, a bit obviously, longer. you know. And, uh, but, but I... Uh, Isn't there a hashtag? It's often the characters that I like playing, though. They're quite juicy and they're quite rich. People want to kill you know, them. Villainous, and they're very... They're very, they're very nice to play. You, you can get away with stuff that you can't get your play teeth into with them. playing a hero. But, but there is a hashtag, isn't there, from your fans saying, yeah. hashtag, don't kill Sean Bean. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, you keep getting killed off in these yeah, things Yeah, well, they're soon. fighting a losing battle, then, but I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, with Cromwell. there's a lot more to come. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when, you, when you get a script, do you kind of look at it and go, right, how long am I going to stay in this one? How many yeah. pages have I got? I start from the end. <laughs> 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 Try and work backwards. Yeah, yeah. God, I'm still uh, in it. I'm still in it. Oh, fuck. sorry. <laughs> Give me a yeah. Um, it was your birthday yesterday too, correct? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, we've actually got you. Your 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 favourite pastime now we understand is gardening. It's planting. All oh, right. We have got your Sean Broadbean plant. <laughs> Obviously. Oh right, that's so lovely. Yeah. Oh, thank so you. So we thought that you can take Beautiful. that. Did you get yeah. up to anything for your birthday? Yeah, it's watered. Yeah. <laughs> it is, you see, you're checking it. So this is lovely, uh, your you. your gardening is your your happy place now, right? <clears throat> is that? Yeah, I like it. I've always liked it, you know, since I was a kid, really. And uh, my next door neighbour, a guy called Ron Howard, not the director, but <laughs> an old, old friend of mine. And, uh, and my dad liked it. My granddad did all, you know, he did all the runner beans and vegetables mm. and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I just liked planting a lot of trees and stuff like that, putting a lot of wildlife, bird boxes, yeah. and bat boxes. Have you got an allotment? Have you got like veg? 
Uh, a bit, yeah. You've got a it, bit more now. One of them things that keeps getting neglected, you know. But when you grow them, you like potatoes, you know, you can't get rid of them anyway. Yeah. You know, you're <laughs> you're looking at right. Is that your yeah, experience? You know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I take most of Sean's potatoes these days. <laughs> Not too many, haven't you? There's an amazing thing that happens when Sean comes on, but because, of course, we know him and we've loved him so many things. I wonder what it's like to act across from him, yeah. though. It was it, it was an honour, really. I've, you know, I've loved Sean for years, and uh, I thought he was such a perfect um, pick for Cromwell. I think his Cromwell is so kind of silky and dangerous, and you know, for to the, the fear of uh, but respect, but kind of you know that Shard Lake is under. He kind of don't don't really have a choice in the matter with Cromwell, and you know there is that there was that, especially that opening scene. There's a real like kind of dark friendliness yeah and I yeah, thought yeah. um you know there was but this danger always kind of underneath I think there was one scene in particular where you raised your voice at me I wasn't expecting it and I genuinely jumped <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. um but yeah no I think you know for those those days we did those scenes were Great, really man. some of my favorites yeah because yeah, yeah, they were yeah. complicated scenes yeah. of this yeah. complicated relationship yeah. between us and yeah I, I, it was it was fantastic yeah it was good Good few well, years, yeah. well, it is complicated, but it's definitely well, it's gripping. epic and like brilliant say, yeah. as well. At the same time, it's on Disney Plus, and you can stream it from the first, first of May. May. Yeah. yeah, thank you yeah. both thank so much you for coming. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we look okay. forward to seeing how uh, Sean Broadbean gets on in the veg pack. <laughs> yes, if you could bring some in, we'll make <laughs> yes, a we'll make a recipe <laughs> out of it. You can do some yeah, cooking yeah, for us at some point as well. Oh yeah. There you go. What, sorry? <laughs> <laughs> He's choosing to ignore you, Shepard. I'm asking you to do some cooking with the produce that you get from the Oh, yes, beans. I'm sure my, uh, yes, my wife sure. will be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank that you, off. guys. Very Thank well. you.